welcome back to another video tutorial from AndroidReviewers.com. Today we're just going to be talking a little bit about how to use the uh, USB storage on your Android device. Uh, today I will be using my Android based phone. It's a T-Mobile G2X and <clears throat> that's what we'll be doing to demonstrate how to use your USB. You go ahead and grab the camera right here and just do a quick overview of this for you. Um, generally you should have some type of USB cables that have come with your um, tablet or um, phone and as you can see right here we have the USB connector and then we have the mini USB connector. Now this end we can plug just directly into the bottom of my phone there. It's just like so. And what you should be able to do is, unlike a lot of other devices, you can basically just take this now and I'm just going to plug it directly into one of the USB slots on my computer. And when you do that, you should automatically <clears throat> be able to see right away that you are indeed connected and charging your battery. And you can see that by the little... Um, icon on the battery there. <clears throat> However, um, on some phones, if you change any of the settings, you'll notice that the uh, USB storage notification doesn't pop up right away. And this can be just basically how you have the settings configured. So in order to correct this, um, I'm going to have to go hit my settings button, and then I'm going to hit settings, and then I'm going to find SD card and phone storage. Once I go there, you'll notice that there's a mass storage only um, checkbox. And if I just check that and then reselect that, it should just recognize right away. And so if, if it's the case on your phone or device that when you plug in the USB cable and the USB connection mode, doesn't come up right away in the notifications. Generally, you just have to go back into your settings and um, change that checkbox there. But as you can see, it's connected. So I'll just go ahead and disconnect it real quick just to show you what it looks like when I do this for the first time. So you can see the notifications removed. The battery icon says we're not connected. I plug it back in. Once I plug it in, we notice that it pops up right away it says USB connected now to actually begin transferring files or using our um, Android device as a USB storage we just hit this button that says turn USB storage on it'll um, ask you if you're using any applications currently that make use of USB storage and you can just hit OK and right there you can see that the little Android icon will turn orange and it'll tell you that you can go ahead and use your USB storage. <clears throat> so now, just to show you a little bit even further here, on my computer now, what I can actually do is just go ahead and go to my computer, since this is a Windows system, and right there on removable disk, I can actually see that um, I now have access to all my Android stuff. And I could just simply go into the camera and view some pictures. Or I could even just transfer some music on here or something. But other than that, it's all pretty uh, self-explanatory. You're basically just going to have to plug everything in as I showed you. And you may just have to change that quick setting in order to get it to pop up. But other than that, it's, uh, like I said, pretty self-explanatory. If you do have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment, or I highly recommend that you check out AndroidReviewers.com. we got a bunch of other guides on there, and we'll be taking questions there as well. Thanks again for watching.